Hey, this is Dr. Mike Goddard, Superintendent of Prestonwood Christian Academy System of Schools. I'm here at the first grade Easter program, and we want to say... Happy Easter! Yeah! <laughs> we want to invite you out to the Plano Spring Musical, The Music Man. You can get your tickets today and join us April 20th through the 23rd for this all-American musical for the entire family. I hope to see you out there. Congratulations to our five Plano campus seniors that signed letters of intent this week. We're excited to see them compete at their next level of their sports, but even more so glorify Christ using their talents. We want to also congratulate North students who are TAPS state champion, two-time state champion Noah Smith, and also Madigan Matthews, who got third place, and then also Tostin Glenn, who got sixth place. I'm really proud of all of y'all. In our Did You Know segment, I want to talk about PCA senior capstones. I want to first of all congratulate all of our seniors who completed their capstones this last week. It's awesome, they did a great job, but you know, it's a true difference maker for our kids. What it is, it's a culmination of taking their history classes, their English classes, and their Bible classes, and put it toward the portrait of a graduate here at PCA, and making it through a literary work. They've done an amazing job. I saw it last year, I've seen it this year, and what they do is they look and see how the Christian walk is engaging in everything that they look at, listen to and how important it is and what they're going to be doing in the years ahead. So great job to all of our seniors. Be looking forward to your kiddo be doing that in their senior capstone as well. We want to invite you out to Prestonwood Baptist Church of Prestonwood North to one of our worship services. They're happening at both campuses. We've got Good Friday services. We've got a Saturday night service up at North and then all the Sunday services. Bring your family out to Prestonwood. I'd love to see you there. Now we want to wish our Lions well as they continue to compete throughout the spring. We've got great things happening, records being broken personal things that the kids are accomplishing that are so awesome. We just want to invite you out to all the events that are listed below. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about Luke 24, 5 through 7. The, the women have decided to come to the tomb. This is about the Easter season. They've decided to come to the tomb. They've brought spices to the tomb because they assume that Christ is still in the tomb itself. And when they arrive, the angels that are there are saying, what are you looking for? Why are you looking for someone who's dead when he is alive? And you know what? It's a, be a reminder that really, I've even thought about this. The tomb was rolled away, not for Christ, but for us to be able to know that the tomb is empty and that there could be an appearance for that. And this is important verses out of 24, right there in Luke 24, that it reminds us that Christ is alive today. The whole point of this Easter season is that He is risen. He is risen indeed. And we know what? In our lives, we've got the same thing, that He came for us. He died for us. There was a lot that happened in that period of seven days from Palm Sunday all the way to Easter. And I want you to be reminded that He came and died for you. He came and died for each and every one of us so that we can live just like He did. I love y'all.